So we all know that you can really get some insanely awesome pals inside of power world simply by breeding although to be fair it does take a little bit of being the rng to get the pal with all four passives that you're looking for and in this video i decided to go ahead and breed one of the best possible flamethrowers in the game aka one of the earliest pals you find in the game the fox barks as we know fox barks has the partner skill huggy fire when activated you're able to pick up the fox barks hold it and use it as a flamethrower and this flamethrower cooks especially if you got some good passives on it in this video we're going to go over the journey the highs the lows and eventually reaching the light on the other side as we get an absolute beautiful s tier fox barks after all our trials and tribulations so first things first we're going to need a lot and i mean a lot of pals especially if you want to get this one maxed out in the power condenser we're going to need a whopping 116 at least on top of that we still have to get some decent parents to even start trying to breed for the ideal fox parks that we actually want now for me personally since i do not quite have the ability to catch the legendary pals means that we are not going to be able to get legend which is probably the just outright best passive skill in the game legend gives you 20 percent attack 20 percent defense and 15 percent movement speed hello that's a huge dub however we're still going to be able to get four really good attack passives anyways or at least that's what we're going for one of the most important ones that we want is lucky lucky gives you 15 percent work speed and 15 percent attack with no drawback to that at all we definitely want to get lucky now there's two ways to go about trying to get a fox marks with lucky of course trying to just find a shiny fox marks out in the wild and catching it will get lucky because all shiny pals come with the lucky passive however you can also just go ahead and try and breed for one which is what we decided to go ahead and do i went ahead and bred a jolt hog and a lift monk for a fox parks with lucky as part of the first step because i felt like that was going to be a lot easier and quicker than trying to find a shiny fox parks out in the wild now that we have the fox parks with lucky we can start breeding for actual parents for the main one that we're actually trying to get we're breeding a whole lineage of fox parks is in the backyard bro there's two other yellow passives that we can get that we're definitely going to want to have for some higher attacks bonuses those two being ferocious just a 20 percent attack bonus absolutely and then since we can't get legend absolutely we must get muscle head since i have no intentions on ever using this fox marks inside of my base as a working pal i don't care that i'm losing 50 percent work speed because we're gaining 30 percent attack very very good now another passive that you could go for that i did not go for is rare 15 percent work speed and 15 percent attack however i didn't even have one rather i didn't have a pal at all in my entire pal box that had rare i didn't even bother with that i decided to go for either aggressive or hooligan to try and round out my four attack bonuses passives aggressive gives you 10 percent attack but you lose 10 percent defense and hooligan is going to give you 15 percent attack and you're only going to lose 10 percent work speed ideally we want to get hooligan but we'll definitely take aggressive because sometimes bro breeding can be a little annoying because you could have the perfect parents and you're just not getting the passives that you want at all now at first it actually seemed like the luck was on the up and up because pretty early on i was able to get the first main parent to breed our full-on ideal fox parks not gonna lie i nicknamed him next gen he came with lucky and muscle head so now we just needed to get a decent female fox parks with at least ferocious and then either hooligan or aggressive it definitely took a few tries before we got another ideal partner for next gen here and our female fox sparks that we got to be the other parent for our perfect fox sparks came with muscle head lucky and ferocious and then a junk passive and blood of the dragon it's not one i was looking for but it does have ferocious which is the other main yellow passive that we're looking for so at this point i was feeling relatively pretty good as we now had at least two pretty darn good parent fox marks to go ahead and start breeding for our ideal fox marks that we're going to actually be using as our flamethrower condensing all the pals into it using our pal souls and the whole kit caboodle 
This is where I fully got hit with just how brutal the breeding RNG can be. Because even if you have two parents that both have the passives you want, you can sometimes completely get offsprings that don't have anything related to do with them. Like, at all. And it can be a little frustrating. Just a little bit. I went through quite the amount of cake, to say the least, in order to get all the cakes I needed just to go ahead and take the swing at, you know, getting the eggs for the fox parks that I want. I would say if you're going to do something like this, something that definitely makes the process easier is if you go into your world settings, just change the incubation time to zero so you can instantly incubate your egg so you're not having to deal with a really long wait time on top of good RNG. It just helps make it a lot quicker to go through all of the eggs that you're breeding and make the process not feel nearly as a slog rather more so at some point one of these eggs is gonna hit and at least you can incubate them instantly to help it go by quicker with that being said i'm gonna quickly play a brief little montage of me opening up some eggs just so you have an idea of what breeding for a near perfect fowl can be like Closer. Bruh, how many things you gonna breed perfect? Is it gonna take you forever to get these fox parks going? Just, <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm feeling about this one. All right, bro. <coughs> All right, I'll take that one. Yeah, right yeah. We can <coughs> set up now for now. <coughs> And that's how I like the skins to be. They, every skin makes whatever Warframe you put it on look iconic it's if it's a good skin. A blaze howl. Just makes them look different. I like that. Some of them, they just don't look different. They literally look less intim- or like, not even intimidating, but less powerful, I guess is the word. Like the pattern on them is more casual, I guess. Not really for a fucking Tenno type thing. You can still look at it from different perspectives. That is not an excusable thing. You have data in front of you, and you op you choose to ignore it. That's what I can't stand. A lot of the features, I feel like anybody who's played one Pokemon game ever and tries a new one that they don't like can probably tell you why they don't like it. It's not a secret, you know? And that's Nintendo's just like, oh well. What? It's like, all right, bro. <laughs> a fucking Olympic gold medalist wrestler, so you know he is actually certified. Him and John Jones has one of the best rivalries in the UFC, bro. The shit talk was insane. All for that, for like Jones to put the hands on him, dog. It's got 52.8% THC, so it's pretty damn good, you know. And let me tell you, man, this shit. It's, it tastes so good. I was originally going for some blue dream. You already know what time it is. Uh, but called, what if everybody had, or what if all the managers had Pep Guardiola's haircut? So what if they were all bald? And all you see is a bunch of goofy ass, like people with full heads of hair, you know, photoshopped to be bald. And at the very fucking end, the rival team for Pep Guardiola's team, their manager is just straight up normally bald and they threw him at the very fucking end. That shit is so goddamn funny. Work slave? They're Where like, did that even the come? fucking rival got the haircut. <laughs> what slaves? I see honorable. Yeah, man. Get 
<laughs> Dude, I'm not doing this. I'm not going for a 4 out of 4 or another one for a minute after this. Alright, dude. I got 5 of these eggs. Come on. Come on. You know what? We'll, do, we'll use this one again. This one's been pretty lucky. Come on. 4 out of 4. on the refrigerator. What are y'all doing? Hey. Hey. Oh, so close. Oh, oh, what are the triangles? Oh, what are the bushes? Close, but so on the refrigerator. I got it. Lucky, musclehead, ferocious, and hooligan. Oh, that's four attack type passes. Oh, Wait, did you get your? Or are you getting? Are you still trying to get your uh, box sports? Dude, look at it. Look. Nice. Oh my goodness. I don't have a legend one yet, but finally, after a couple days. A lot of cakes and eggs later, we finally got the fox marks we were looking for. We got our flamethrower, the legend with Lucky, Musclehead, Ferocious, and Hooligan. Of course, as we know, there are at least two ways that you can go ahead and power up your pals even further via the pal condensation which will allow you to put pals of the same kind, AKA Fox Sparks and the Fox Sparks to power them up, make them even stronger and even boost their partner skill. Mine is now at max level five Huggy Fire. Keep in mind though, um, it is going to take a total of 116 or whatever pal you're trying to power up to get them to max four stars in the pal condensation which can definitely be a lot of catching and or breeding luckily by this point i already built up a really fat stockpile of fox boxes that i could use just to go ahead and dump and i only needed like maybe 20 or so more to get the full four stars which is really nice and then of course the other way that you can go ahead and power up your pals of course comes from the anubis statue that you unlock pretty early on in the game as this is where you're able to dump your pal souls to enhance your pal stats even further currently at the time of me making this video my fox sparks is at six out of ten and the attack stat as it gets an additional 18 percent through the pal soul enhancement system however you want to phrase it through the pal soul system our fox sparks has 18 percent bonus extra attack i just need one more medium soul and a few more large souls and i'll have this fox sparks attack maxed out as far as i can push it with these passives and i'm very very happy about it this little homie is one of my favorite pals in the entire game it really does cook and do a lot of damage and it feels so worth spending the time the effort the resources and breeding a nearly perfect fox parks thank you very much for joining me on this little journey and let me know if you would like to see more how world content because i have really been loving this game remember if you ever want to get your games and dlc for a cheaper price you make sure you always head up to instant gaming the top link in the description and you guys make sure to be safe take care consider subscribing and i'll see your beautiful faces in the next one adios